Just and how far up in there did you say you go with that chromoly? Thirty. The chromoly only comes through here. It's, it's a foot long. A oh. foot long. And then, and then inside that, I. Uh, oh. So what is the dimension of this chromoly here? Pardon me. The, what is the dimension? One and three quarter. One and three quarter, and the wall thickness? It's three sixteenths. <laughs> oh, that's substantial. Yes, yeah, yeah. very. <laughs> and see, and this is what goes up inside my mass. Oh. Okay. This slides right over that, and I had it machined so that it fits oh, the I inside see. dammer in oh, this. And that sits right that's there like a, that, and you see how far it's oh. like a middle, middle section, isn't it, of a mass? Yeah, mass it's enough for the mass. So it slides over the, uh, the chrome alloy, and then the mass slides over that thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's and idea. that's what I've used. Okay. But to get these, these are hard to get. Very hard to get, yeah. because they're... That's what breaks is the bottom, huh? <laughs> there, up here is about where your uh, joint is. is and joint. Yeah. And sometimes they'll break them right in this area. And then I pick them up from cell works and I cut this portion out just below the break. And that's what goes. So this is already a little bit tapered then, huh? Yeah. yeah. That's an upper portion of the mass. Oh, of the lower, of the lower mass. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So whenever, you know, I wear a, or break a mast or it's a, to the point where I, I think it's sketchy, have you I'll seen, have another one of these. <laughs> have you seen other people breaking their mast uh, with... No, the, the windsurfers will do it because the, see, when they're all loaded up, they... <laughs> My brother broke his. He put his in a... from about It, it was a pretty short uh, mast step and he put it in there and he... Got a good gust so, of wind and broke. So, but, so they didn't have the reinforcement. No, no yeah. insert, yeah. no nothing, and a short. It was the mass dropped in it, and he's yeah. talking about that much. Yeah, also. right where the yeah. transition that's is. That's right. the amount that they needed to cut off anyway. And his wasn't very tight fit, as sort of, so it had a kind of a edge. etching. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just uh, yeah, yeah. This stuff doesn't like side loads, but it doesn't mind bending. It'll bend almost. And what is the dimension of this two inch or two, two and a quarter? Two and a quarter, quarter one eighth. Eight. Two and eight by one eighth wall. Okay, one eighth. Two and a quarter by one eighth. Mm -hmm. So the idea is two inches then. Oh, you have a very short spike here. Yeah, you don't need a lot there. Yeah, mine is. Uh, looks like an exhaust pipe. Yeah. See, you can weld that on, uh, up. You know, put it up and do like I did and put a piece on there and yeah, get it. You know, it. you can get it way up yeah. there if you choose yeah. to. He he likes it there, but. Yeah, um, I I actually had I have a yeah, a gusset <laughs> to right, you, you don't need it. it. <laughs> no, no, it's another no. few grams or um, yeah, ounces yeah. to cut off. As long as you can keep this angle of this rope. Yeah. You know, relatively. So you have a forward. Down. You pull there, but you get a little bit forward tension, huh? So you don't. You have hardly any friction. As you pull at it, download your downhauls your sail. Yeah. How is, it, how is the tension of the sail around the mast? Oh, it's fairly tight. I huh? oh, no, it's yeah. okay. Yeah. So it flexes or moves. That's all you need. Yeah. So you can rotate. Huh? Right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a fork, and it seems to be. Seems to be. And okay. I don't know. Yeah. I've, I've thought about doing going with a floating mast, but I uh, a floating mast will give you the opportunity to pocket this in here. Yeah. You know, oh. And so you can power that up because it's not being held here. <coughs> so when it loads up, it's going to go that way. Yeah. And allow that to pocket mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now another way that you can do it is you can do it to uh, come down here and this comes to here and then this is free. Mm -hmm. And that'll do it too. That'll let that just batten. And oh. I'm going to talk to Bruce about that bat and flow out and really pick up air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of things that I got going on just out of money. So you were not concerned about drilling a hole through your pipe here, huh? No. Not no, Did you have a do you have a re reinforcement going through the pipe or you just no. straight on aluminum one I, I do. Yeah. I, I back it it's that's eighth inch thick chromoly. That doesn't even strong. know it's been <laughs> <laughs> really strong. Yeah. Well, I used I used uh, two inch um, you have straight wheels. You have straight wheels, straight yeah, angle, yeah. huh? The perpendicular. Perpendicular. Yeah. So it's not really. You just see an advantage in having them. Uh, how this? This is camber. You huh? know? Yeah, it's camber. Yeah, and the other one is toe. 
You got tow, yeah. camber, and caster. Yeah. What you deal with in a wheel. Yeah. What's caster? Caster is uh, the amount of forward. For forward. Pack yeah. You can't. Oh, I angle. see. Okay. So right now you are right around here, huh? Right. About an inch forward of. Uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty close to being spot on. It's spot hard to on. say unless you use a laser through there. Yeah, I agree. Right. But this is right at 40 degrees. And then there's something. Oh, you have your pedestal. Yeah, oh, your this is going there. You oh. The field, you? Now I'll yeah. show you something that's kind of interesting about steering angle. Because I don't agree with a 30 degree steering angle at all. I'll show you why. Because we're doing a lot of hiking. Uh huh. You, you're not. You don't have this concern as much because of you can sit out. But when you hike up like this, and I'm in this You're going on the side of the, of the tire. True. But the point I want to make is on a 30 degree, it is laid over already. When you get a little, you want to turn. Yeah. You want to turn out of it and you, and uh, oh, well, you've got to go the other way. <laughs> when you get turn down. out of it, yeah. it doesn't want to turn out. And this way, you can be clear up here, and having that angle, you can turn right out. Yeah. yeah. But you, it, it has, this steering angle has a higher, what I call a critical angle. And the critical angle is this. Uh, so what this is... is your, this is your hike. Yeah. And so you get about here. Now things are getting critical. <laughs> uh, ready to go over? Yeah. You have a lot of uh, you have a lot of guts. Yeah, <laughs> if, if you call this critical, and I would be scared position, to shit. On, <laughs> if you're in this position here and you're on a 30 degree head angle on your front wheel, you won't be able to turn out. Yeah. <laughs> You'll go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you ever want a. To really see that, you watch the blow carts blow over. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Man, they just they go, call those blow carts. <laughs> they go along there and they'll hike up and all of a sudden, bam! Because yeah. they can't steer out. Yeah, those, that, I did that. My brother Did that. you weld everything? Well, I, I didn't do the welding. I had that done. You had that done, huh? Yeah, I yeah. just supplied the... How, how much did you have to pay for the craftsmanship to weld and put everything together? But, uh, it was about sixteen hundred dollars. Yeah, that's just wholesale stuff, you know. Sure, but that's material. That's not the labor, huh? That's labor, everything. Oh, okay. See, it's not that much more expensive to build a chrome on it is with steel. No, it's steel. not. It's yeah. Well, it's like twice the amount for the steel, but still, that's nothing. Yeah, it's com out. It's the labor that actually, yeah, if labor, you have it built. Well, yeah. yeah, I've got about uh, a little over five thousand dollars in this whole rig and, yeah. and three cells. Yeah. yeah, three sails. Three sails. Yeah. And, and two, two masts. Two yeah. masts. But you'd be hard pressed to build them for that. Yeah. I think I paid like $7 for enough chromoly to do that tube and this.